Yes. What up, Soul Fam? I just happened to look down and it's 10 11. 10 11. And if you take out the zero, it's 1 1 1. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Happy June 1st. There's another one. Happy June 1st, you guys. So, uh, there's supposed to be some sort of disclosure today with aliens. Aliens. I don't know why I did this. Because <laughs> I believe in aliens. Even though, like, we're probably the aliens. But, yeah. Some sort of disclosure is supposed to happen, like, today. Or this month. Or, like, by the 30th. Like, the government is supposed to be revealing that they exist. Uh, they're supposed to be revealing the contact that they've had with them. But we shall see. We shall see because, you know, mainstream ma media... Blah, blah, blah. Let's try this again. Mainstream media... My mouth and tongue never work together. <laughs> um... They always blow smoke up our ass and twist shit. If it's up to our government and the media, they will probably tell us that these off-world creatures are all evil and they're all coming here to kill us, which is not true. Which I don't, I don't believe, but I do believe that our planet has been, you know, there, there's air, there's crafts in the sky I believe that so many people have been seeing these crafts in the sky and been spotting them a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. As of lately, there's so many people that are just like catching strange objects in the sky and able to record them. And I believe that's like their warning signal, like, come on, if you don't speak up, we're just going to make ourselves known. Even though they're making themselves known, I think like they're gonna do it in a big, massive way if our government doesn't just reveal it and 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 just come out and and be honest about it. But I do believe that there are some out there that are not friendly, and I believe those are the ones that are working with our government, the reptilians. However, I do not believe that all reptilians are evil. Um, I know there's a lot of you that will probably disagree with that. And there's a lot of you out there that are like, what the fuck is she even talking about? Like, unsubscribe? Because she's a fucking wacko. Which I don't care. I don't need your negative energy on my page. If you are still here and you're still listening, it's because you were meant to be here. I have like a red spot in my forehead. Maybe it's a... I don't know. Maybe it's from my hat. I don't know. <laughs> I did that needling on my face, which I do it to myself. I did that treatment to me last night because I have sunspots. I have like old people age spots on my face and I'm not even old enough to have these fucking spots and I have them, but whatever. Um, sun freckles. <laughs> so yeah, I don't believe that all races are bad races. That's just like saying, um, I don't know. It's kind of like bringing race war, like what we have down here on earth. That's like saying that all white people are KKK or uh, racist. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I can speak for white people because I'm white and I don't want to like get into race because I don't give a shit. All races matter. If you cut me and I cut you, we're all going to fucking bleed the same fucking color unless you're not human and <laughs> you're alien. But um, that's kind of like saying that. So I don't believe that all reptilians are bad, but I do believe that there's a mass majority of them that are like very bad, very bad. And I believe that's, you know, we, we are under their ruling and we have been for quite some time. Not, not even just since the Eisenhower presidency. I believe it's, I, this has been going on since the cat, I, my opinion this is my opinion and this is just with my research and you know what comes to me what intuitively comes to me into my into my realm into my rea reality um 
I believe that, oh, I guess having my blinka would be helpful, right? I'm always yelling at people that don't use it and I'm over here not using it. Um, fuck, what was I saying? Give me a second. I really forgot what I was saying. God damn blinker. Um, oh, I believe that the reptilian agenda, we've been under the reptilian ruling since, I want to say since, uh, the Catholic, like when the, the Catholic churches went up from the first Pope. I don't believe that the first Pope was an actual human. And, and I really do understand you if you feel like that sounds really bizarre and crazy. Because <laughs> saying that out loud just really sounds crazy. But you know what? I don't apologize because we're just not used to hearing these things. So when you're not used to hearing something, it doesn't sit with you and it doesn't, you know, um, I guess resonate with you because it's not a part of your everyday life. It's not something that is in your programming. So I'm deprogramming you and it may irritate you. You know, what I'm saying may trigger you. You may, you know, your ego may just like jump online and be like, oh my God, this girl's crazy. She's wacko. She's lost her mind. And it's okay. I forgive you. Because you know what? Back years ago when I was younger, I met this woman that claimed that she was abducted by an alien, a gray. And I was like, what is wrong with this woman? She had a child and I used to hang out with her daughter. And I was like, what's wrong with your mom? Like, why is she so crazy? You know, does she do drugs? That's what I used to ask her, does your mom do drugs? Her mom showed me this marking on her leg between her thighs. She said that they were doing something with these machines and they were they made this hole in her thigh. And when I tell you that this woman was petrified and paranoid, I mean like she was afraid to leave her house and she was afraid for her daughter to leave her sight. But I don't know, I don't really, it was so long ago, I was like maybe 12. And even the daughter was kind of scared. Like the daughter wouldn't be anywhere alone. So I don't know if maybe she saw something or maybe just hearing her mom's stories scared her. But she tagged along with me. And um, so there was like a group of us, a group of girls. I grew up with these twin girls and her sister and you know some other friends would join our group and we would all hang out with each other. But she would not leave. You know, she always tagged along no matter what room we were in. If we walked into the kitchen, she walked into the kitchen. If we walked upstairs, she walked upstairs. Even if I was just gonna go grab a sock or something, she would just follow us. She did not like to be alone. And at nighttime, she had to sleep with all the lights on. She couldn't sleep on the outside of the bed. She had to sleep on the inside of the bed. And she wrapped herself up in these blankets. I mean, like she had this whole thing that she did. But the mom did the same thing. The mom did some other weird stuff. But again, it was so long ago, I don't really remember all the details that well. I just do remember a few because they, they were that bizarre. And I judged her and I was just like, she's crazy. But then I started to see things in the sky. I've had many, 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 many encounters with seeing strange objects in the sky. And as I grew older, I started to have other experiences in my life. Uh, just a few years ago at my other house There was this alien creature. He looked like a gray, but he wasn't short. He was very tall It looked like a man alien. I may have shared this on my channel. I don't remember. I know I shared it on Facebook I don't even know if I was doing my channel back then I think I was but it was under Gabrielle Garcia orbs because that's I originally started my channel because I was seeing orbs and, and I see spirit and and I just wanted to share my fuck it's hot in here. I wanted to share that experience with people because when I was growing up I always felt crazy because I always seen spirit and it wasn't always a UFO or an alien thing but as I got older I started to experience UFO and alien stuff so I had an encounter with an alien 
and he didn't say anything to me. He just, he had this, like a farmer straw, farmer hat on. Um, he was tall. He had pants with suspenders on and a jacket that was open. And he was leaning up against my wall and he had one foot down and one foot up, like propped up against the wall and he had his hands crossed and he was just smiling at me. I got scared now and I had just moved into this house. It was like in 2016, I think. And I'm like looking all over the wall for the switch and I click the switch on and he's gone. There was somebody there, but when I turned that light on, he was gone. And then I had a few other experiences where my crystals were all moved around, but they were moved around in, um, uh, what's that code? Morse code, I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna dee -dee 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 -dee, like that. <laughs> well, I had a bunch of these stones that I picked up at Lake Ontario, and I woke up, and I went into my crystal room, and I have this silver tray sitting by the window, and all of my stones were put, it was like one, two, three, one, two, one, if I could find the, I took a picture of it. I took multiple pictures actually. If I can find the picture of it, I will post it. But it was neatly done all the way around the tray. It was in this really cool design. And the only person that lived with me is my husband and my little daughter. And I asked her if she, at the time she was little, I asked both of them, did you guys touch my crystals? And they both swore they didn't. Um, I don't think my small one did because I mean like, it wouldn't have been that nice if she did it. Um, and at the same time, my daughter was seeing things in the house. And then around the same time is when the orbs started to pop up in my life, these light orbs. And um, I was told that they were um, alien by nature. That's the, the, like their little, that's how they travel in the orbs. And finally the one orb uh, responded to 11 so the name of that orb is 11 that's where I get my witchy vibes 11 I have this like connection come on little squirrel get out of the road no PSD today or squirrel decision <laughs> um, so of course I'm this is long story short I'm not going into detail so none of this may make any sense but just sharing with you guys that you know, as I grew as into an adult, I started to have experiences with aliens. And then it came, you know, uh, around 2016 is when I found out that I was a Pleiadian starseed. And I shared my video, my story with you guys. And I started to have this connection with uh, Pleiadians. But I, I also feel connected to other star systems, but I feel a very strong connection to the Pleiadian star system. So I probably most likely came from that one recently. And also Pleiadians are angelic by nature and I feel very angelic. My name is angelic. I attract a lot of people that have names that are angelic, like the name Angel, Angelo, Michael, you know, all... Name, oh, Raphael, Rafa, I have a friend named, you know, he's from the Dominican Republic and he moved up here for a while and he was in our life for a while. They're also healers, very kind people. And these are people um, that came across my path. And if I wasn't awake on my spiritual path, I would have not even realized, you know, any of this. But because I'm awake and consciously aware of my awakening, I'm able to put these puzzle pieces together in my life and um, which is a blessing because a lot of people cannot do that. It, even though you can't do it, doesn't mean that it's not happening. Happening is just unconsciously happening. But I, I like the fact that I'm consciously aware of what's unconsciously happening. So I just wanted to share that with you that today's June and there's supposed to be some sort of disclosure. I've been feeling this for so long and I've been sharing that with you guys. I know I did put a post up on my community tab stating something about full disclosure this month. I may have put a date, I don't remember what I put. I, 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 I had a note in my calendar to be aware of a certain date. So that still stands because I know it's not today. So we shall see. So I just wanna put that out there for any of you guys that are feeling that same way about June, disclosure, aliens being a Pleiadian, you know, star seed or Lyran or Dromedon or whatever you are. Um, 
many blessings to you. Share your story with me. Maybe I'll talk more about this later when I have more time. Um, I do, I am aware that <laughs> my vlog today was like random and all over the place, but uh, I ran out of time. I gotta bring some food to Papa. Gotta bring him some meds. He has a hairline fracture. He rolled out of bed. He has a night table on the side of his bed and um, he fell on his ribs and he has uh, two fractured ribs. And uh, apparently you can't do anything when you break, the doctor said you can't do anything when you break a toe and you can't do anything when you break a rib. So you just have to let it heal. And apparently it's really painful. Um, I could just imagine having a, a rib painful because every time you breathe, your rib cage kind of expands. So I guess that that is, and every time you cough or eat or move, I mean, yeah, it's gotta be painful. I know having a broken toe is painful. <laughs> I broke my toe. <laughs> it's never been the same since. But uh, send some healing light to my dad. I love you guys. I'm sending healing light to all of you guys. And again, keep your eyes to the sky and your ears wide open and your heart open. And just stay aware of what's going on around you. Uh, ground yourself. Love yourself. Love the people around you the best that you can. And uh, just be kind. Bye.